Yeah, he's in his, uh, I think this is maybe, what do you think, GP, do you think this is one of the girls or is this a boy? Okay, so you think it's smallish, alright. Right. Yeah, yeah, he's got a peachy breast and he's got lighter colored pantalons for sure. Uh, yeah, we got a, hang on, branch. I've got a branch I gotta hold out of the way here. It's, I have a recalcitrant hiding spot here. So, so like I say, he's got a he's got a case of the wiggles. Let me see if I can tweak it to go to him a little more. And yeah. He's a pretty, pretty boy. He's got, I, it looks like he's got Ezra's face. Look at that beautiful white around the, yeah, and the, and the, he's got the white eyebrow and he's got the white muzzle around the nose, on top of the nose. Yes, what, what are you doing this morning? So, where are where are where are the other birds, GP? One on the chimney of Caldwell. Got it. So and okay, and was there a, was there a fly off from Plant Sciences? Okay, so when we got here. Go ahead. So the garden area that I'm, it flew off into the garden area I'm standing in or right next to the building? Oh, okay, so there may be a hawk, like behind me. That could be it. That, that's true. So it could be the same one that's on Caldwell right now. Uh, I... Sounds great. So uh, Cindy just checked out the Ag Quad and um, is going to go down toward Malat and Bailey and stuff and have a look there. We. We actually think we saw on the way up here, we didn't stream it because we wanted to get here to the main action. We think we saw Ezra sitting on top of the uh, tall external chimney that's attached to the side of Space Sciences. I, if you guys recall, a couple of days ago we saw BR sitting on top of that chimney. Well, we think it was Ezra this morning. It, we think it was an adult and we think it was him because of the eye makeup that he had. We just couldn't see the eye. Chimney Hawk just flew off. Which way did he go? Did he... I'm using a little bit of the digital zoom here. And I don't know. Got it. Down into the ag quad. Okay. So, so I, Away. Away. Right. Well, left and right are 
are actually pretty useful directions around here. Just saying left and right are pretty useful. Uh -huh. Ah, I see. Got it. So I gave us a... It doesn't really give us any more focus and it's still pretty decent. How's the picture? I did a little... I did a touch of digital zoom. Just a hair. Alright, so let me just... Uh, Nu Let me just nuke the. I'm nuking the the zoom. So you know what I'm. Gonna... Okay. All right, and I'm gonna turn around here. I'm gonna let this fella. Um. Well, that's good. All right, so I'm going to let this fella sit here for a little bit. Yes, yes, I'm here, but I'm really hiding. You can't see me. I'm, I'm with the mermaid over here in the corner. There's, there's a bronze mermaid under the tree. Got it. So I moved the camera over a little bit to catch the leaves because for this camera it actually helps with the backlighting. Oh, and the, the wind is wants to participate. Yep. So people have to be patient because the uh, The, one, the tree is playing peekaboo with the hawk. All right, so I'm going to turn around while he's managing here and have a look toward the purple beach. And I can do this very nicely, as a matter of fact, because I can walk under the trees.
thought you said there was one that flew down into the gardens. Yeah, I read you. Well, yeah, I don't think so. I think this is a different one. So, um... Okay. Well, so okay. So let me just update, folks. Um, oh, he's doing the yeah. Let's do some cleaning here. Beautiful. Hello, young man. So um, we have this fellow here. We had a hawk on Caldwell that flew off on the chimney, and just now I was walking toward the Purple Beach, and on the other side of the very tall yew bushes. There's a parking lot between me, the garden that I was in, and the front of Plant Sciences. And um, as I was walking along, a hawk lifted off, a juvenile lifted off the ground and landed up on Plant Sciences in the blind spot. So it's essentially behind the greenhouse and it's on a west-facing wall on the crenellations. And this, this person, this guy is pretty happy here. He's doing the one-legged resting thing. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, if this is D1, he, he's been sort of dancing with his feet a little bit, but just, he got his pantaloons poofed out, and he's got his one leg tucked up. I don't know if he's been trading legs or not, trading feet, but let me see if what folks... Uh, Little leg stretch, yep, a little leg stretch. Okay, he's pretty, um, pretty high up, so I don't think they're gonna... Yep, it is, I think it is a chip off. Yeah, I am using a tripod, absolutely. Actually, I've, uh, I took breath suppression medicine this morning, and I'm doing an amazing job just holding this camera freestyle. <laughs> Not really. Yep, you are quite lovely. So let me wander back over and see if the other one is still on the crenellation. My guess is that my guess is they're not going to be that stay puttish over there, but uh, I guess we'll I guess we'll go over. What do you guys? You want me to check out? Uh, yeah, the bags are right here next to me. So, folks, would you like me to? Um, stay here and keep an eye on this fella or would you like me to move a few feet and see if I can grab a shot of the other D on the crenellation that's in the blind spot huh? okay so alright we're gonna we, we think he's this guy's pretty stable here 